Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tea Time. This is Teresa. It is Tuesday, March 22nd. I had to look at my computer screen. Um, oh, March is almost over. You know what that means? April. April showers bring May flowers. You know what May flowers bring? <laughs> Teresa's brown thumbs. Because I don't know what manner of flowers and plants I'll kill this year. It happens every year. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You know what I think it is? Well, I think part of it's the soil. This year I'm going to put some, uh, I don't know, eggshells or um, lemon peels or potato scraps. I don't know. I'll do some research. But every year in, 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 at the springtime I have high hopes for my plants and flowers. But they all tend to just, I don't know. Well, there's this lady that lives down the street from me. And I pass her house every day. And in, in the I mean, she always has a beautiful porch. But in the summer. And she lives on the corner. So she doesn't have a lot of yard. I mean, at least in the front. And every summer, her porch and her little property there look like an English garden. I'm so envious. She has to be retired. That's what I think when I drive by there. That's how I justify it. She has to be retired because no one with a full-time job would be able to, to create such a, an oasis. Okay? So that's, that's my story. That's why I can't. I mean, I have, an anim I have animals. I have a dog and a cat. I have two grandchildren and a full-time job. So what starts out great in the spring seems to peter out in the middle or end of summer. So I do have some, what are those things that come back every year? Perennials. So I do have quite a few of those. And you know what I grow the best? Hosta, of course. You can't hardly kill hosta. Um, but so anyway, I am going to do some updates on my deck as well. Uh, I bought some new rugs. Um, some new toss pillows for the swing out there. So I'm kind of kind of do a, a remake or a redo or a remodel or an update on my deck. And I'll share that with you whenever I get everything in and, you know, get it all set up. Yesterday was gorgeous. It was like 70 and sunny and warm. And today it started out warmer, but rain came in. And I think it's supposed to rain for like the next three or four days and turn you know, much cooler. So, but that's okay. That's okay because uh, I think I'm jumping the gun some. Um, trying to, I just want spring and summer, not necessarily summer. I don't like the real hot heat, but I love spring and late spring and early summer. Um, and I like to spend a lot of time on my deck. So I'm really anxious to redo it. And because um, I've had the same rugs and the same decor since I moved in here. So it's time for an update. But anywho, man, have I rattled on and on? Okay, so the reason why we're here today is uh, an Easter craft. So I have a bunny wreath, wire wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And I fully intended on doing a, a mesh ribbon wreath with that form. Uh, I was gifted a lot of mesh wreath from a dear friend at work. So, I mean, I, I planned on doing that. And then a friend, not a friend, well, she is a friend, but she's also my cousin. She tagged me uh, in a, on a craft on Facebook using these wire wreath frames, and they used nautical rope. And you know how crazy I am about nautical rope and twine. Listen, if you ever need anybody tied up, call me. I got plenty. I got totes of it. I tie up several people. You got a whole group of people you want tied up? Call me. But anyway, anyway, so I seen that and I thought that looked really cute and I had some ideas and I'm going to show this to you now because here we go. We're going to just jump right into the craft and, and um, it's about time. So have a great night, have a great week and I will be back soon because I have a handful of things and I want to do. Uh, and share with you. So stay tuned and I'll catch you later. Bye. All right, let's just jump right into this craft. Let's talk about supplies. 
you're going to need nautical rope you're going to need a wreath form um, and I got this at the Dollar Tree and as you can see I've already wrapped it in nautical rope so I'm going to stick a picture of what the wreath form looks like naked in here now. So once you get that, you're going to take your nautical rope and you're going to, and all I did was I wrapped it around here against itself and glued it together to secure it. And then I just started wrapping it around. Now there were some places that gaped a little bit. And when that happened, I just simply squirted some hot glue and held it together and continued to wrap it tightly. Um, I think I used about almost three packages of nautical rope for the face. Um, the ears, uh, I took one package and I uh, cut it in two, two equal pieces, and that was enough to do the ears. So once you have all that done, you can stop. You can stop right there, and how cute is that? But I think, and you know, rustic and primitive, they're my thing. But I do think this screams for a little more detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some craft paint. And this is uh, an, a Walmart craft paint. It's from a company called Apple Barrel. And the color is Snow White. Now I thought about muting this with a little bit of brown, but you know what, I'm not going to, because I'm gonna use a technique called dry, called dry brushing on here. We're not gonna paint it solid white. So I'm gonna take some of this paint, I'm gonna put it in my little paint tray, okay? And then I have a wonky, uh, kind of a used and abused paintbrush that I'm going to use for this technique. And then I have some, um, well this is toilet paper. I prefer a paper towel, but I was already up here and already had the camera going. So I'm just going to use some toilet paper to, you know, dab it. Because we don't want the paintbrush to be saturated with paint. So we're going to dip it in here. And... I'm gonna, let's see, can you see this? Okay, and then I'm just gonna simply, well, I might need a little more paint than that. And I'm just gonna use the technique called dry brushing to give the rabbit a little bit of a white. And I hope this is coming across on camera. It probably isn't with my look. And I'm just going to kind of, uh, you know, go around it, dab it off here, continue. So, yeah, this week has um, actually gone pretty fast. I've been very busy. And I, and I haven't mentioned this before for a couple of reasons, but I don't want anybody to think I'm ignorant of the fact that there's some serious stuff going on in the world. And anytime, anytime anybody suffers or is in danger, um, you know, I want to express my thoughts and my prayers to those people. And um, it's just, I mean, war, any kind of violence, it doesn't matter if it's called a war or a conflict or whatever it is, I mean, it's just a terrible thing. So know that my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone affected by this. I try not to watch the news too much, um, but I do keep, you know, updated on what's going on. I'm, I'm well aware. And I feel very blessed to live um, where I live. And to be able to go to bed at night and not worry about certain things happening. Okay, so I, I think I've kind of gone around the whole thing. Now I'm going to start on the ears. And again, just... It's going to give it a hint of white. Okay. I'm, gonna do, I'm not going to do the back 
because it's going to be hanging and the back isn't going to show. So I'm just going to do the front. I think that works. I think that works very well. I think it gives it a little little charm. Um, okay, so the next step I'm going to make a bow. And that's it. I'm going to make a bow and put it right here and that's going to be the end of it. Okay, so what bow? All right, so I'm not going to make a big bow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this loose it's very loose weaved um, burlap ribbon from, I think I got it at Walmart. It's a dark green. Move this out of the way. So I'm going to take this ribbon. I'm going to cut a strip. I don't know. I didn't measure it. I guess it just depends on how big you want your bow to be. But I'm going to try to get these kind of equal. Okay. Set that aside. And um, twine. I need some twine. So, oh man, I needed my hot glue gun. Am I ever prepared for a craft? I swear you would think as many years as I've been doing crafts on YouTube, I would be better prepared for each video, but no, I'm not. So anywho, I cut a couple of pieces of this burlap ribbon and it kind of has a seam down the side to help keep it from fraying because it is a loose weave, but we're going to get rid of that. Because I kind of want a messy, rustic bow. And then once you cut those seams off, it's very easy to pull. <laughs> it's very easy to pull this apart. I don't want to pull it completely apart, but I do want some of the edges to look a little worn. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of twine and this is about 13 inches long and I'll tell you where I got it. From something that I bought from the Dollar Tree. Oh, you know those no, it wasn't Dollar Tree. It was the Dollar General. It was one of those bead ropes that had a tassel on the end. I took it apart, but I saved the tassel, and I just deconstructed it. So I have these nice pieces of twine that I can use for, you know, tying up stuff, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take this, flip it over. You see me? And I'm going to... Just cinch this up in the middle. Now, did I get... Nope. It's a little farther down. You want to center it, so we're going to start over. I'm going to move it down. Just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. Okay. And now we're going to try this again. better. I'm going to pull it as tight as I can get it and I'm going to tie a knot in it. Okay, then I'm going to take my scissors and just cut the excess. Okay, throw those away. Now we kind of have um, the start of a bow. And I'm going to lay this flat, and I'm going to take some of this, it's like a lace ribbon, and I did get this from the Dollar Tree as well, and I'm going to cut a couple of pieces, and I'm going to make the ends look nicer, and then I'm going to use my heated up glue gun. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I'm going to put this going one way. I'm going to make like an X on the front of it. Okay? 
take another piece. Let's see. That might be too long. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just... Okay. I'm take another piece or another little dab of glue. I'm gonna put it there and I'm going to make an X here in the center. Okay. And then I'm going to take uh, more of that twine uh, from those tassels. And I have two pieces here. And I'm just going to make a simple, like you're tying your shoes, bow. Let's see if I can do it. Alrighty, sorry about that. And all right, so I think we got it. It's just a simple little, I mean, you may have to, come on, mess with it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna, the tails are too long, so I'm just gonna even them up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take another dab of glue i'm gonna put it in the center and i'm gonna put this bow right there in the middle and then i'll hold it up to the camera so you can see it of course you have to get rid of the glue strings the lovely lovely ever present glue strings Okay, so it kind of looks, I mean, it's a bow, but it's not perfect, and that's the way I like it. Okay, so now what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm going to glue it right here at the top. I'm going to put it right here at the top. So let's put some more glue. Big glob. I'm just going to put this right here. And then once I do this, then I'm going to hang it somewhere, and I'll show it to you. Okay? Okay. So hold on, and let's take it somewhere where the light is better. All right, it's all finished. Now, I did do something. I had a little, um, some little flowers. And I went ahead and stuck those in the burlap bow as well, just to give it a little flower. But yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Super cute. I'm going to say it. I promised myself I wasn't going to say super cute anymore, but I can't help myself. It is super cute. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do that. We have lots of fun here, lots of crafts. Lots and lots of crafts and more to come. So I'll catch you guys later. Have a great night and uh, I love you guys. Bye-bye.